This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Stoltman. Um, so we are in Arizona, as some of you may know. So grateful to be here, let me tell you. Uh, the weather has been beautiful. We're so lucky. Um, I'm really enjoying getting to ride horses here out of the cold. Uh, but we did get to go barrel racing this past weekend as well. Uh, we did get some rain on Friday night, so they canceled the Saturday of this barrel race. However, we got to go Sunday, so grateful for that. Um, I took Claude and Jada both. Uh, I'll show you how they did. Other than that, just been bandaging Mr. Hot Sauce. We're on the mend. Um, he's getting there, but it's still going to be a little while before I get to get on his back. Um, patience is not my strong suit, nor is it his, so he's going a little stir-crazy in his small little pen, um, but it's just kind of what we have to do for him. Uh, so I'll show you guys a little bit about things here this past week. <laughs> Little teeth grinder. Back to pink again. Wait, little man. I'm doing a little revitavet treatment on my own back because I can feel it spasming. And Claude is mad because he knows the treats are right behind where I'm sitting. Just give me those treats, lady. Just a couple treats. Seventeen three eight six. Okay, well, um, we're headed home now. Um, Claude and I had a pretty good run. I felt like we really hung up at our first barrel forever, but the rest of it was good. And uh, he ended up very last in the 1D. So there's only six of us in the 1D. So he was still sixth overall out of like 100 entries. So um, he did well. And then Jada was um, in the 2D, but kind of in the whole of it. So she had a nice run as well. I just need to kind of figure out my riding with her a little bit. I kind of bumped her a little too hard on the first barrel and you can see she kind of goes, wah! Uh, so that was my fault. Uh, but she tried really hard and I'm happy with her, so I have no complaints. Um, the ground was heavier here than usual, so uh, she had to work really hard to get through it. Claude's often not phased by that, um, so, you know, he's so big. Um, but it was a fun race and it's so nice. This one's just 15 minutes up the road for us, so it's a really nice one to go to. Jada, do you want to tell me what happened here last night? You flipped over your water bucket, and that hay net was here when I fed you last night. Oh, and you're mad about it. What are you protesting, sister? That's a mare face if I ever saw one. <laughs> so a little bit about saddle pads. Um, we talked a little bit, you guys asked what kind of saddle pads I like. Um, I have had these best ever pads for a while. Um, I had one previously and then Cody has got me some really cool ones that have my brand on them. So there's a lot of um, opportunity to design things kind of custom to what you like for looks. They also have a whole bunch of different sizes. So 
This pad is a 30 by 30. My Stingray has a bit of a bigger skirt on it, so the 30 by 30 fits well with this saddle. Um, it is a OG pad, they call it, and it's a three quarter inch thick. So this one's kind of like a good basic starter pad, I'd say. And then I have a couple other ones as well. Okay, so the one I have on Miss Jada is a Kush pad. Now this one is a barrel size, so it is 28 by 28, I believe. Um, the skirt on this saddle is significantly smaller than my other one, so this is plenty of pad. Um, the Kush pads, I think the thinnest they make is a one inch, so this is a one inch pad. Um, I typically stay with a bit of a thinner pad. However, I just tried this with the saddle about a week ago and it fit well with it and um, didn't roll or do anything like that. So that's what I've been riding Jada in. Um, and the Kush pad, to my understanding, has a little bit more shock absorption to the pad than, say, the OG pad does. And then I have this one, which is the OG pad plus the fleecer lining. So the fleece makes it a little bit softer. Um, and then this is a three quarter inch pad. Um, with the fleecer, it gives it a little bit more than that three quarter inch. However, it will kind of wear down a bit as time goes on. And it's no secret, I love me some cheetah print. So um, this one I use on Claude. Uh, I personally uh, like the fleece on a horse that doesn't wear a saddle a lot. So what I mean by that is Claude gets exercised and then I put him away. He's not on a ranch all day, um, nor is he a colt that really needs to be ridden down. Um, I think that the OG pads are what I would kind of prefer for those situations because they'll breathe a little bit better. Um, but this one, I really like it on him, fits well with his saddle and it's a little softer for him. So those are the pads that I'm using currently. Um, when it comes to saddle pads, I like a wool fleece, either or, or blend. Um, I find they wick away the sweat really well. Um, and it's more of a natural fiber as well, so it's not gonna cause them any irritation. Um, these ones I find really easy to keep clean. I just spray them off with the hose if they start to get yucky. Um, and I think you're better to keep ahead of them, <laughs> is what I've learned. Uh, don't let them get really disgusting before you clean them. But yeah, like I said, you can get lots of different color options. So. Um, leopard print and my brand on this one and then my two favorite colors purple and turquoise on that one well I hope you enjoyed this week's episode um, I'm gonna try to do some more Q&A things and incorporate those into my videos because you guys often ask questions in the comments I get a lot of the same questions so I thought you know maybe I should add these into the video so if there's anything specific that you're curious about um, want to know more about when it comes to horse type things or tack or whatever, uh, go ahead and answer or ask me in the comments and I will gladly try to get through some of those and incorporate them in every week as well, just to give you a little bit of a different content versus just what I've been doing. Um, so go ahead and do that for me um, and I'll try to get to as many as I can. In the meantime, you guys, I always appreciate you watching and I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you could go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.